hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tim Banjo, and if it's your first time stopping here welcome and if you aren't new here if you are coming back to see my lovely face welcome hope you're well hope everything is going on fine so for today in today's video i'm going to be revealing my top secrets what i do to maintain this glow mm -hmm. this clear skin everything i do my routine and so on and so forth so if you know you're going to be interested in keeping your skin this spotless make sure you stay tuned and see you in the video okay first things first i'm going to be dividing this video into two or my reasons or my secrets into two first of all are the things i can control and the things i cannot control so i'm starting with the things i do not have control over which is one my jeans obviously good jeans are going to um show forth in a person's appearance and i believe i have good jeans for this clear skin this skin has always been clear thankfully and my sisters also they have clear skin my mother also they have clear skin but once in a while we break out just a little maybe when it's that time of the month we break out just a little and then it clears off by itself but acne and pimples the whole black um black head white head things i have white head sometimes we'll get to that later on in the video black head white head all those type of things they don't really have effect on us that is number one number two is the fact that i have tight pores my pores are really tight it's very difficult for me to have all those white head black head and it pimples is not something that is regular on my face on my face rather so tight pores makes my face really look really smooth or like having wider pores where your skin will be oily and acne prone so that is the first aspect of my clear skin those are the things i do not have control over now for the parts where i have control over and what i do to maintain my clear skin my glow number one my diet i believe i strongly believe that anything you want to happen on the outside you have to make it happen on its inside first of all like the bigger part of your result is going to be the ones you puts in like your input from inside so your inputs gives you the largest output obviously so my diet i do not joke with my vegetables i love vegetables i love salad soups local soups um edikaiko eforiro just name it anything that has vegetables in it i like my fruit which soever it is i don't even most of the time i don't even bother checking the benefits i just know i love to eat vegetables i love to eat fruits i love salads i love salads and the biggest part also was when i was on a keto diet i mean when i was on a keto diet my skin was so clear so bright and i fell in love with my skin and i made sure i continued taking vegetables even when i stopped being on the keto diet number two is moisturizer i make sure i moisturize my face every day because and make sure you get moisturizer that have SPF, SPSF, whatever it is. I'm going to check for what it is. And make sure you look at the content of your moisturizer and try not to buy anything that has a hydroquinone. Those are, or oh, that is a bleaching agent. I don't want to bleach my skin. I love my caramel color, my brown skin. I love the way it is. So I am watchful of the kind of moisturizer I use. And for now, I'm using, for now, I'm using the Kiwi I lotion carrot oil sometimes i like to use the coconut oil or the um other they have other types i will make sure i put that in the description box and other times i use this elizabeth harding um, moisturizer also so it's always between these two moisturizers and whenever i put this on my skin everything looks really good on my face okay so number three is sunscreen i cannot stress how important sunscreen is wherever you are whatever it is make sure you have a sunscreen although there are some sunscreen that makes brown skin girls like us or dark skin girls end up looking ashy thankfully i haven't used any of those all the sunscreens i've been getting are always 
really good they make my skin look good even after a long time and i also have a refill um size that i put in my bag so whenever the um sunscreen wears off after four hours i sanitize my hand and reapply the sunscreen on my face because I'm most most times i'm always in the sun and to avoid sunburn to avoid skin cancer so many damage to your skin make sure you always put on sunscreen the sunscreen i've been using is the mismetics sunscreen this is one i've been using recently now and this makes my skin look really good this doesn't give the ashy look people complain about it makes your skin glow if that's a thing like it makes my skin look really hydrated and i love the way it sits on my skin so please do not joke with your sunscreen sometimes when i run out of sunscreen and i don't have what to put on my face i make sure i don't go out with my face bare like that once i put on my moisturizer i wear foundation and i put powder because some foundations they have spf in them but it will not be as much as that of sunscreen so just make sure your skin is protected with at least a layer of something so foundation powder anything bb cream cc cream anything that does it for you is totally fine just make sure you don't go out in the sun with your bare skin because of the harmful um ultraviolet rays of the sunlight okay so i do not have any skincare routine i do not have any dedicated skincare routine and that's because of how lucky i am but once in a while i like to i like to scrub my face with a um scrub a um, facial scrub or i do a clay mask i use my clay mask in a video i uploaded recently i'm going to put that link in somewhere up here i'm going to put the link somewhere up here I used a clay mask there and it's a charcoal mask and it just goes into my pores and clears everything out and I do that like once in two weeks sometimes once in three weeks and sometimes when I remember oh I have this thing I do it twice a week and no more than that because you don't want to end up taking out the natural oil away from your face another thing is that I do not sleep with makeup I make sure I clean off my makeup with so much products I first of all use so i use makeup wipes to take off my makeup and a makeup remover to take off my makeup from um, marbrook then i also use this clinic foaming cleanser to wash off my face this totally takes everything off when i'm done with the foaming cleanser i have a shower or i take my bath where i'm able to use my my fingers to rub off to like rub my face properly and that just makes my face really clean and when i get back inside how you know you take off your makeup completely is just wipe a um wet cutting board on your face and if it's clean your face is clean you can go to sleep please do not sleep with makeup because some of them have adverse effects that we don't know about so make sure you take off your makeup every single day before you go to bed another important one don't press your pimples <laughs> i know this pimple addiction can be a thing even me i am guilty of it I, it doesn't even stop in pimples i like to press boil like when i was small i used to pray i have boil just so i can press it and see the pores coming out and i like to watch the youtube videos of all those you know things that used to remove white heads and black heads i know because most of us we do not do it professionally when we just use our fingernails to do this and press out the pimples from your face or from somebody else's face because when you do that there's supposed to be the white layer the pores that comes out next is the blood that sheds out then after the blood there's supposed to be clear water coming out and that clear water signifies that you have totally cleansed that area or that spot where you are pressing but most of us we press only the white part out and when we start seeing blood we leave it alone we're not supposed to leave it alone when we see blood we're supposed to keep on pressing till that white layer or that white clear water comes out and most of the time when you finish pressing it we leave it open it's like an open wound and bacteria fungi and so many things can come in contact with that open place and just cause something else so that is why it's not advised that's why it's not advisable for you to press your pimples and try as much as possible not to touch your face every time because of the surfaces you touch all around 
any day you end up putting it on your face and for people who have open pores you end up contaminating your face and putting so many other things on your face so try as much as possible not to press pimples and not to touch your face also after every makeup i do i like to clean my brushes i either use a uh, um, alcohol base if i can find that now I'll, I'll try and look for it i like to use alcohol base to clean my makeup and just it's very easy press it on my brush and squeeze with a tissue paper and it's clean the alcohol has a sanitizer in it so it cleans it and kills bacteria on your brush automatically also if you can't do that you can wash your brushes but i don't have the time to wash my brushes as easy as other people have time to do that so i like to use my alcohol base to do it so this is the brush cleaner i use once i press this on my brush it makes my brush clean almost immediately it works like magic for me and it's totally fine especially the fact that it also kills bacteria and every other thing that is not supposed to be on the brush it's totally fine for me and also and also my beauty blenders i wash those ones i don't use this alcohol base to clean it i make sure i wash it with soap under running water and squeeze properly and luckily for me i've been getting good beauty blenders or beauty sponges that you know when you wash your beauty sponge and you keep on seeing those brown stains on it that is so annoying very annoying i i can spoil a beauty blender just because i want that brown stain to go away so luckily for me i've been having beauty sponges that always clean themselves totally once i just put and you don't need to do much i use bath soap once you put in bath soap and you clean it it becomes totally clean and the beauty sponge i've been using is is the this beauty sponge so good and once i clean it once i use and i clean it it becomes clean immediately you do not see any strike or streaks of brown 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 foundation setting powder on it so make sure you get good beauty sponges that will clean that get clean almost immediately or do not leave brown strikes or streaks in them okay also i would like you to note that before you go ahead to buy any products make sure you read the content of the product because most of, many people don't know what works for them many people don't know what they are allergic to and a whole lot so make sure you um check the product you are using and check if it goes well with your skin i don't know if you understand what i'm saying for me for instance some people put coconut oil on their face and it works fine for them i can't i dare not put coconut oil on my face i'm going to scratch my face like hell so make sure you look at the content of what you are buying and see the benefits and everything it does before you go ahead purchasing it and do not follow every trend that is raining because sometimes some things are not for you you might not know make sure you calm down do your research and see if it is beneficial to you before you go ahead all right don't just jump on any trend and lastly and most importantly this some people don't even take it seriously make sure you clean your phone this is my phone it goes on my face almost every time i receive a call make sure you clean your phone hand sanitizer whichever it is clean your phones make them clean the, the your phones are as important as your hands make sure you clean them because they go on your face almost every time and i don't know it's just always close to you you are you are touching you are touching your phone your hand can go on your face at any point in time so make sure you clean your phones okay so my loves have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new obviously and if you have anything you like me me to film to try or anything just mention it in the comment section down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button why did i forget to mention that if you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button and you made it up to this point come on what else make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button and follow my socials let's be friends and i hope to see you in my next video Bye, loves. Mwah.